Hello and welcome to Tuner Tips by Totterbert. In front of us with the Miyati, model number HYD003. It's a 15,000 milliamp hour Type C fast charging power bank. I got this off Amazon for a total of $10.99 and it represents an amazing bargain. Yes, I'm always looking for deals for you guys in portable power and I found it here. So let's take a look. Miyati comes in a simple box. What caught my eye with this one was it comes with a hard case, which I thought was nice. So for $10.99, you're getting a couple extra goodies. So that's it. The box is empty. There's a carrying case. Set that aside. All right. Yeah, so I thought, hey, it comes with a case. Not bad. Liking that. Miyadi's pretty good label. I've bought a few of their power banks already. Got a little pouch for the cable, which is great. Um, the power bank comes in a little plastic sleeve. Take that out. There we go. We'll set that aside. And then we have our instructions. Look at those in a second. Look at this cool cable. Now, I thought this was neat. Uh, this cable here is a USB to Type C. And also, it's a little adapter here. You take that off, and you got USB to micro USB. So that's, I like that. I thought that was another neat feature. When I saw that for the price, I'm thinking, wow, this cable probably cost you six bucks. So awesome. And of course we have the case. You know, it's a hermit style shell like that. All right, cool. So let's get to the instructions. Miati, 50,000 milliamp hour portable charger. There's a model number. Looks like it's got some Chinese writing there. Okay, so uh, some information there, which we'll try to go over. There you are, in case I missed something. Just kind of go over the instructions here for posterity. There you go, caution, warranty. Okay, so it talks about the efficiency of the charger. Um, it does not uh, have through charging, unfortunately. It says right there, is it possible to charge other devices while charging the battery pack? Um, I mean, I think they could spend extra money uh, and build it into the circuit to be able to do it. But, uh, you know, this is only $10.99, so I can only expect so much. There you go. There's a legal capacity you can carry on a plane. All right, cool. So there you are. It does not support QC 3.0, but it's still a fast charger. And I'll explain what that is. It's on the back side here. We have all Chinese. All right. So let's get to the power bank. All right. So there it is. Um, right away, it's really compact size. It's a little thicker, but uh, the compact size factor is nice. Like I say, it comes to that case, which is perfect. So we'll go over dimensions here. Uh, we have a length of three and three quarter inches. We have a width of two and three quarter inches. We have a thickness of one inch. So let's do a little size comparison with some different power banks I have. Let me just bring this up a little bit. Okay, what do I have first? I have a competitor. It's not really a competitor in the same capacity category. We have a Duracell. This is the PB3. They still sell this. It's a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. It sells for 25 bucks. Yeah, I know, 10.99 versus 25 bucks just for a name. I mean, for capacity, this blows it out of the water, but it gives you an idea for size. They're almost the same size there. I mean, yeah, this Miati definitely has more capacity. Uh, next I have, uh, let's see what else I got, the Miati. This is a smaller one they used to sell. Uh, they went with a different style. They went with this new case design. So their 10,000 milliamp hour power banks look a little different. But that gives you an idea for another 10,000. Uh, this one uses two 21700 cells. Okay, to give you an idea. All right, and then of course, uh, this one here, they don't make any more again. I mean, power banks come and go. This is actually a 15,000 milliamp hour power bank. This is an Eggsense uh, brand, and I've reviewed it. As you can see, it's got Qualcomm 3.0 on power delivery, which makes it a pretty awesome device. 30 bucks new versus 10.99. Um, and, you know, it produces just a little bit more power than this one does. So yeah, this little Miyati is great for the money. So already plugging it. But there you go. There's a little quick size comparison. Of course, I have a deck of cards. This is my biggest deck of cards. Look at that. Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He loves portable power from Miyati Land. He's Iron Man. There you go. Cool. Iron Man likes it. All right. So let's zoom it down and do cover features real quick. And we'll do a little demo of this thing in action. Let me just move these other power banks out of the way. All right. So on the front, you can see it's typical four status LEDs for your battery. Got a little switch on the side there. It lights up, of course. Yeah, it tells you these are 25% increments. It's fairly accurate. Um, 
On the side here, we have two ports. We have a Type-C input and output and a micro USB in. Now the Type-C um, input and output is five volts at three amps in and five volts and three amps out. When I was charging this, I noticed 2.5 amps, 2.6 amps input when it was dead. So I think the cable could be the limiter there. Uh, and I believe that is two amps in on the micro USB. So if you're wondering on that. All right, so in the back here has some information which pretty much just describes what I'm telling you. If I get that to focus, it's pretty fine writing. You guys can make that out. I'll go over it. But uh, on the business end here, we have two main USB ports. Um, they say combined 3.4 amps, so pretty much 2.4 or 2.4, or if you're using them together, it's going to divide it out as 2.4, and then the other one's going to be at 1 amp. So you'll have a total of 3.4 amp output, which I find pretty good. Um, or if you're using the USB over here, you're only going to get your uh, 3 amp output, and these are going to be disabled probably. I noticed that when I was trying to do through charging, I noticed that when I hooked up this, it disabled those two jacks. So something to keep in mind. But uh, yeah, pretty basic. So let's talk about capacity, what it delivered. Um, so this delivered a total of 8,822 milliamp hours or 44.73 watt hours. It's not spectacular, um, but it's okay. I mean, it, if you compare it to its predecessor, the 10,000 milliamp hour, this is the AS504. Um, this one produces a, a 5,700 milliamp hours. So if you do the math, this is slightly outperforming this power bank per, you know, if you were to divide out the capacity. So it's actually a bit more efficient, this Miati. So they kind of bettered their power bank, which is nice. I think this might be using flat packs versus uh, 21700 cells. That might be a reason why. But uh, yeah, not bad. So there's the power delivered there. Um, and of course, like the Duracell, uh, this 10,000 milliamp hour power bank for 25 bucks, uh, it delivers 6,160 milliamp hours or 39, or sorry, 30.9 watt hours. So you can see, save yourself some money, you get one of these and done. I mean, it's, that's how you do it. <laughs> I mean, I just, I mean, it's cool. That it's like the copper top thing, but again, it's this thing super basic. It's not even a fast charger. It's just, I believe 2.4 amps or two amps, something like that. Get the idea. I did a review on this one. I still sell it by the way, 2.4. Yeah, and uh, if you wanted this one, if you want to spend the extra 15 bucks, be my guest, um, but I'd rather recommend this. Because this doesn't come with a case, and uh, it doesn't have to come with that cool adapter. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and demo this. So yeah, I got uh, my little uh, trusty meter here. Let's go ahead and plug it in. And I'm going to have to bring this way up here. Um, what I got handy... Of course, my color is a little wonky with that blue, but let's go ahead and bring it in. The VC8 Plus. This is a great charger, by the way. Um, it's got an awesome, it's got two inputs. It's got the uh, uh, basic dedicated DC or a type C uh, input. Now it'll take a, uh, a fast charge at nine volts, two amps. Let's see if I get this in the frame here. Move my light. And we'll hook it up. Now, it might take a while to get this uh, going here, so let's go ahead and plug it in. I may actually start it up. I'll watch this climb. This should go to two amps. Now that's because uh, the charger recognizes the uh, device providing the power. If it's on five volts, it only will take two amps. If it's at nine volts, it'll definitely take the two amps and go to 18 watts. So what's what it's going to do? It's going to charge these eight, 18650s at a quarter amp a piece. So, yeah, so now this little this little power bank is charging all eight batteries. Not bad. <laughs> That's a pretty cool setup. I like that. Nice. Now, for, you know, if you're not doing stuff like this, uh, you, you're out in the field, you're traveling, because it's definitely a traveling, comes with the case and everything. We'll unplug that, set that aside. You'll be using it to charge your radios. Yeah. My radio channel. Let me bring this back down a little bit. Um, so I, you know, I have my D808 handy always, always around, right? For a little expedition. Let's see if I can't get that LCD to display. There we go. And uh, yeah, I can just unplug this. We don't need this. And uh, yeah, this will do two two devices at once, which is nice, um, handy. You got a flashlight. You're charging, or if you're charging two radios, um, it's handy there. So now we're charging this radio. Um, it should have a little battery indicator there. Right there, you can see it charging up. I can bring it in the frame, you can see it. Boom. Yep, there it is. And then, of course, 
another shortwave radio, a Texan, and uh, this one here we can hook up. So yeah, this is just a neat thing to have. I mean, 1099, you can't beat it. I'll have links below. Uh, you guys are going to want this. It's definitely worth the money. Uh, I reviewed quite a bit, and uh, for the capacity and what you're getting and what you're paying for it, yeah. And the Miati is a good name. You don't have to be questioning its quality. Um, they've done very well. So there you go. We're charging the Texan PL330, and we're charging the XH Data D808 at the same time. Um, it's just a neat... Uh, way to do this and of course um, if you had a portable flashlight you could charge use your power bank for that as well uh, with that delivery capacity of 8800 you know you'll be able to charge this eight times you'll be able to charge this about four times gives you an idea of what to expect with the charge rates but yeah that's what i'd be using it for this is definitely nice power out situation keep my radios going keep my flashlights going a uh, little lantern i have a couple little uh 18650, 18650 power lanterns that this would keep charged up so all right let's unplug this and do final thoughts on the miati hyd 003 yep like that easy to remember um yeah so let's go ahead and just get these radios off the desk here and we'll yeah lots of cables now the cool thing is you can use the cable provided with the power bank for those radios because uh, they're micro usb yeah and some people have asked are there any type c radios out there and there is actually the xh data d901 now it's not as compact as what i just showed you but it is type c chargeable so you can use a type c jack to charge your type c radios now i think we're going to see a trend where we're going to see more portable radios with type c as well so for the money 1099 yeah you're getting that adapter um, i really think that's neat you know micro usb type c when you need it um very handy to have that it's attached so you don't lose it um you're getting that cool case Again, this comes with it, you know, this little pouch there to hold the cable. And of course, yeah, you're ready to rock. So for $10.99, if it's still at price, rock in. If it goes up in price, I would say spend no more than $13.99. Uh, because right around that territory of $14.99, $15.99, you might be able to find a nice 20,000 milliamp hour power bank. So, but there it is. Because a recommended buy by Todd Rock on. If you enjoyed this video, give a big like. You guys are the best. Uh, two, if you like power banks, you want to see more, especially affordable deals like this, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of future videos uh, featuring Miyatis and, of course, inexpensive power banks that I find. Uh, sometimes these, like this guy here, can go on sale. I think I got this. This is around 10 or 11 bucks. Um, but yeah, $10.99. Gotta love it. They even sell a two pack of this, I noticed. Uh, just recently, I was looking $20.99. $20 so it brings down two of these. Each one would be $10.50. So to give you an idea, you save a little bit of money if you need two of them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, always always for the deals, make sure that bell icon is clicked. And three, comment below what you think about the Miyati HYD-003, 15,000 milliamp hour supply. Uh, There's something you think you'd pick up. Um, I know it's not the top performer, but for price, it definitely is the frugal performer. You're going to get the most bang for your buck with this one. Um, I'm always looking for that cheap, inexpensive power bank. And this one just caught my eye because, number one, compact. And, of course, accessories are always nice. All right, guys, take care, and we'll see you in my next video.